Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and welcome back to another episode of Junk Journal with me. In today's journaling session, I wanted to document the progress I've made so far on the dollhouse that I've been renovating. So I've been making a dollhouse or renovating a dollhouse for my daughter mostly, but all of my kids to eventually play with. It's pretty close to finished now, so when it is finished, I will definitely do a dollhouse tour video. But in the meantime, I wanted to do a little journaling session, just documenting sort of the before and after photos and the process photos and what it's sort of looking like at this point. So the first thing I'm doing is taking some labels and I'm sticking them on all of the four by six photos that I have. And I'm going to just annotate what each photo is. So I have a before photo of the dollhouse when we first got it. I have a photo of what it's sort of like at the moment at an almost finished state. And then I also have a photo of the, the photo of the outside of the dollhouse. I've recently just painted some vines going up the edge of the outside of the dollhouse. And then I also have a picture of a Barbie doll and a really cute little um, Barbie baby carrier that I had someone make for me so I'm just annotating all of the photos and writing down what each one is and then they're all going to slip into that paper bag there on the left page Then I have this piece of paper and this is scrapbook paper, it's a Maggie Holmes paper. And I wanted to include it because I felt like the colors reminded me of Barbie. And so I'm going to use a little bit of this to create like a label on the outside of the paper bag. And then I'm going to use the rest of that later as well, just to tie in all the pages and to give them that pop of pink and a pop of color that I felt like was really fitting for this page. So I used that as like a background and then I stuck a little label sticker on top of it so that I could sort of keep all of those photos together and label what it is or, or just have some kind of label on the outside of the paper bag. So I just used my glue stick to stick that onto the paper bag and then I took my stapler to just reinforce it make sure it wasn't going to come away. Then with the page in the middle, this is some thin paper, so it's the Tomoe River paper. I wanted to make that page more narrow just so that you could see onto the page behind it, which I was planning to use on, on the same day. So I was going to tear it down in half, but then I thought I may as well just fold it over in half because that's going to make it a little bit thicker. So I folded it in half and then I glued it together. And then I decided to take some of this wide washi tape, use that to cover over some of that page. And my thoughts were that I would use this narrow page either for journaling or I would stick some of the photos on top of it. So I have one more photo here that is like I've printed out a grid of photos of each room in the dollhouse as what they're sort of looking like at the moment. And they, they are unfinished, but they are quite close now. So I'm just cutting that um, photo apart into the six individual photos that they are supposed to be. And I'm going to place them down the edge of that narrow page. And so I'm just fiddling around with which ones I think look nice next to each other, I guess. And so I'm going to put four on the front of that page and then the remaining two will go on the back. And I'm just going to use my stapler to attach those onto the page. So before I attach those remaining two photos onto the back side, I decided to take the same tape that I used on the front and to put some on the back just to make the page a bit stronger and to sort of make it match, I suppose. Then I'm taking a little scrap of wallpaper and this wallpaper I used in one of the rooms in the dollhouse. So I'm using this as like a little swatch, I suppose. 
And so I stuck that along the bottom of that page with some PVA glue and then I put a little label sticker over the top so I could write what it is. And then on this back page I have I have this little pink tag here that came with some other wallpaper that I purchased and I also have a business card here that's from some Barbies that I bought because I've been collecting dolls and stuff like that for the dollhouse as well and so I glued those onto the page or stapled them onto the page and then I'm taking the remaining patterned paper and I'm just going to use that to decorate this page a little bit as well so I'm just gluing some of that leftover paper on the edge of the page and then with what's left I'm going to fold it over so that it comes over onto the next side and just glue that down as well. Then I also have some packaging from the wallpaper or some of the wallpaper that I used in the dollhouse and so I'm taking like the label from that wallpaper and I'm gluing it straight into my journal on the back side of this page. And then the other thing that I have here is some wrapping paper and oh, I can't remember right now off the top of my head what this was from but this was from something that I ordered from the dollhouse as well. Actually, yes, I do remember. I purchased a little miniature mirror for the dollhouse. So it came wrapped up in this pretty wrapping paper and I thought that was really sweet. And I felt like the wrapping paper was all the right kind of colors you would expect for Barbie stuff. So I just wanted to include a little piece of that patterned wrapping paper on the page as well. So after I did that, I'm really just decorating in the little spaces that are left over. So I've been trying to use up some of my Project Life cards. I took this one that says, I think it says love this all over it. So I just cut off a little piece of that because I like the little font on there and everything. And so I'm just playing around with where to stick it on this page. So I just layered that up on the page. And then I also have this tape and I have a couple of rolls of this tape. I purchased it without realizing it is really not sticky at all so it's not very good really for being tape but you can still use it I'm just going to glue it down with my glue stick just to make sure it's not going to come away so I glued that up the top of the page and then it sort of wraps over the top of the the page behind it So at the moment I'm really just filling all the little leftover gaps in the pages. So I took this other Project Life card that had the typewriter on it and I just thought this was cute so I just wanted to include it. I liked the colours on it and I just thought it was cute even though it wasn't really related to Barbie. I just thought it was a cute image. And to make it look a little bit less like a Project Life card I just trimmed it down so that it didn't have the round corners and then I just stuck that up the top of the page and added a little bit of washi tape on the top and bottom of that image. After that I added a sticker that said photos to the little photo pocket, paper bag pocket and a couple of other little stickers, little label stickers and stuff like that and then I went ahead and I added a little bit of journaling so I just wrote right on top of the scrapbook paper in the labels and any little blank spaces that were left. And there you can see my journaling page and I don't mind if you guys want to pause the video and read all the little things that I've written and take a look at the pictures that I'm sharing with you guys. Um, as I said, I will have an actual video on the dollhouse, so I'll do a dollhouse tour when it's finished. It is really, really close now, as you can see, so that shouldn't be too, too far away. But yeah, feel free to pause the video if you want to take a better look at the photos. They are very small, but you can kind of see where it's at by those photos. I also have a highlights 
um, saved on my Instagram stories where you can kind of see where the dollhouse is up to and the progress throughout the whole dollhouse journey if you want to see that. I do need to add some more of these photos of the furniture and stuff onto that soon but you can sort of see the progress and yeah so if you're interested in seeing that you can check out my Instagram. I hope you guys are all having a really really great day and I will see you in my next video. Bye.